Hi, Hi, director and RIP team. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. Um, I I'm just here looking to access public records to search for some records. And what records would you like? Um, I don't know yet until I search. Well, I'm not going to open the computers up to you. We can't do that. There's just cybersecurity issues. There's security that he has to check for each person. So um, okay. that's not something I can do for you. Okay, so you're not going to allow me to access public records? I'm not going to allow you to access computers or records that I don't know what you need. I'm not going to just give you an open computer and let you go through a computer. Okay, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to make a citizen's arrest for violation of Florida statutes. Sure, go ahead. Sorry about that. No, 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 you're all right. Uh, Chief was talking in my ear. <laughs> go ahead. Twenty six. Uh, let me find out. Hey, what's going on right now? Um, so this is the gentleman. Is he that guy? He basically came in here and said, "I need X." Like, yeah. basically, I don't believe what you've given me. I want to search the computers myself. Yeah, yeah. So we thought, like, no, how we unruly can't. is he getting? Can I wait for the other two units? I feel like I would say ask the city manager. I'll bring there now, but yeah, he's yeah. just sitting there. Calm okay. Right now. Okay. Can I go up this way without yeah. him uh, seeing me? Yeah. 16 to 30, it appears he's sitting calmly, so I'm going to hold tight, but I'm going to go up the side stairway and speak. So but um, he, we'll he go ahead and get him records. trespassed. Yeah, he wanted to see records. Kevin, what do you, your first comment to him was that we can't show you the records because... Uh, I actually didn't speak to him. I just okay. told the, I spoke to the attorney and I said from our side that, you know, even our employees, before they start working here, they need to be background checked and fingerprinted before they can access That's this. correct. You don't even work here, so... Yeah, so I, he asked for the records. I said, what records would you like to see? Um, I don't know yet. Well, I can't just open my computers. There's cyber security issues. There's personnel issues. There's things there that I can't just open yeah. the computer for you. So you're telling me that I can't see records. If I don't know the records, then you're not seeing the computers. Okay, I'm going to get the rest. I said, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so you and want we did film it. Trespassed? Becky has, yeah, Becky has yeah, told yeah. us to trespass him. Okay. Okay. Ms. Hayes, will you sign that or will Becky? I will. Okay. And so if okay. Becky wants to sign it later, okay. I'll, I'll sign it for now. And do we have his identity? Yeah, he's he's the, uh, I think he's the TikTok guy, is what you said. Becky? Right? I mean, uh, Karen, what's sure. his identity? Right. I don't remember his name. I, I just know. Um, I think I can Google him. Wait, wait, wait. Right. I don't want to Google him. I've got it. He, I, I've never just, seen him. Just yeah. He about the the school? school? Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, all right, that's, that's I know who, who it is. Okay. All right, he doesn't. He do, no. He we don't have to wait. He's coming. So. Okay. Huh? He says he's coming to y'all's place next, and we'll Payne will give me his name real quick. Okay. Well, the way that the way that you're supposed to do it is you request the documents. You request the documents, and then you will get those documents, and then you pay whatever you need to pay. Mm -hmm. Is it per sheet? And that's how it is. He, he does not have authorization to go into a secure network to search through the computers. Any more so than I do. I yep. will explain to him. That's what it is. You have to make your request, um, and you have to wait for the response for that request. But you do not go through the computers, and you're being trespassed from the city because of you being aggressive with staff. Uh, he does not have to sign a trespass. No. Um, but we will say at this time you've got to leave, and if he refuses to leave, then it's trespass after warning, and, yep. and he will place, be placed under arrest. Yep. Okay. And he has experience there. Okay. So. <laughs> um, He's recording too. We know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are we. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. You're coming to me to explain something that I haven't even told you about yet. How is that? Oh, well, I I'm just upstairs. Oh, who are you speaking with upstairs? The city manager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I called you here. Yes. Right? Because I am placing the city manager okay. under citizen's arrest. Okay. For violation of Florida Statute 119.10. Okay. It is actually a crime that she is in the process of right now. It's a first degree misdemeanor, and I'm placing her under citizen's arrest. So okay. I would like you to do what you need to do. Okay. Either issue her a citation or arrest her and take her into custody. Okay. Those are the two options I'd like you to do. Okay. Um, at this time, though, I'm going to advise you that you are being trespassed. From this nice area. Try. You can't trespass me from a public building when I'm trying to get public records. Okay, sir, you're being trespassed from this building, okay? 
you're going to make your request, you can make it by phone. We'll bring it up to you. That's against the law. Okay. That's that means you'll be violating the law okay, also. Thank you. Okay. You might want to go to the attorney general's website and look up for your requests and understand the law before you make the mistake you're about the mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're about to make. Like you, you might want to call the city attorney. You might want to get somebody involved. The city attorney said that we can trespass you, okay, and you're being you. trespassed. You you cannot trespass me. Okay. Failure to respond to this, you realize you can be placed under arrest. Sir. Do you think I'm going to complain? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I've been doing this a while. It doesn't matter if we go A to B or B to A. All right, just as long as I get the total okay. information. Okay, and I understand that. But what so you did this. is you came down here and you threatened me with arrest and trespass no. before you heard I my state, whole side of the story. I state that that could be a possibility. No, 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 no. I have it recorded. Your cams have it all recorded. I'm going to get all this footage. You're being trespassed. I, that's that's regardless. All right, you can't you're being trespass me. I'm gonna. I'm not staying here. I mean, I'm leaving as soon as this is resolved. Whether whether if he choose not to do something. Once it's resolved, I'm leaving. But I'm just trying to make sure it a see Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just trying to make a determination on how you're going to resolve the matter. Because I have legal recourse. I'm not worried about that. This is simple for me. But I'm just trying to get records. Okay. And everybody... But non-descriptive non records. Correct. Non-descriptive records. Okay. Which under Florida law I don't have to describe. No, I, I I understand that completely. So, so and she is in the commission of a which I just how, out how, you. my question to you okay, is how how can we get what you need without knowing because we can't just allow any person that hasn't had their fingerprints taken, gone through seizures policy to go through public records. You're correct. You're correct. Really? So, yes, arrest, correct. specific criminal investigation, stuff like that, you can just go and get copies of that? Nope. Nope. There are plenty of records that are exempt from public records requests. Correct. It is not my job to tell them how to do their job. Correct. But it is my job to know the law in public records requests when I make them. So, therefore, I don't need to tell them, they came down here with five people, a technician or whatever. It's not my job to describe how to keep their records. But I can tell you I'm within the law and within my right to come here and request access to public records. If they're not properly keeping records or they, there's a specific procedure for them to allow me access to records. When they do that, that's their procedure. So they have a way to redact whatever is confidential, whatever is exempt. But it's not my job to tell them how to do that. It's only my job to come here as a member of the public to get records that I'm requesting. And the law is crystal clear. I do not need to provide what records I'm searching for. If their system that they allow me to search through is not set up to properly search, let's use a hypothetical. All right. If they have a terminal that I can access that has a search query, right? And let's say I, I search for um, McDonald's and 50 emails come up with McDonald's, then they can be like, okay, we got to search these 50 emails to make sure there's no exempt information in the emails, but it's not my job to describe that whole procedure to them. That's their job to know that. Okay. So the law is clearly on my side. And yes, you can try to trespass me. It's not a problem. But I'm not here to tell you I'm moving in and I'm living here. I just want the issue resolved. If you make a decision, it's a decision you have to live with. If you choose that you're not going to do anything in the commission of a crime, then I will take the appropriate actions the minute I leave, which is to go find...
Are you okay with that for the narrative? I want it to be as brief as possible. Subject was causing a disturbance with multiple staffers. Okay with you guys? I can change it real quick. No, because that's what we, well, the disturbance was he wanted to do a citizen's arrest on the yeah. city manager. Well, the question is how do, it's a quink, it's a quinky dink. It's, yeah. not, it's not a quinky dink. He's being a reason why he's disrupting yeah. business. All right. So we can yeah. All right. Yep. This one. That's his copy, yep. Yeah. All right, Mr. Cicerello, I'm Officer Stanley. We met earlier, Cocoa Beach Police Department. So is, um, as the other officer mentioned to you, you are being trespassed from the facility, okay? Mm -hmm. The facility and its property, that carries two years. It doesn't mean you can't call to request records, call to request business. If you live... Yep. This one. That's his copy, yep. Yeah. All right, Mr. Cicerello, I'm Officer Stanley. We met earlier, Cocoa Beach Police Department. So is, um, as the other officer mentioned to you, you are being trespassed from the facility, okay? Mm -hmm. The facility and its property, that carries two years. It doesn't mean you can't call to request records, call to request business. If you live in the city of Cocoa Beach, call to have your water bill paid, all that good stuff. It just means you cannot be physically on this campus for a period of two years, okay? okay. The form I have here that I'm going to ask you to sign, it's totally your right to sign it or not. Yeah. Um, but if you refuse to sign it, it still carries the, the, the trespass, all right? We have the record here, all right? You have the record? Um, I have the record, that you, the record that you've been given an opportunity to sign. Oh, okay. It doesn't signify guilt of anything. It's just your signature signifies that you've received a copy and that you understand my instructions to abstain from returning here for a period of two years. If you were to re return within that time frame, you would be subject to arrest for criminal trespass, especially following your warning, okay? That would be on property or in the structure, okay? okay? So are you willing to sign or do you refuse? Who's that? All right, that's you. That's me. Yes, sir. That's All right. impressive. Are you willing to sign or no. do you refuse? Okay. So, that? sir, I signed to somebody else's paper. All right. As a courtesy, I'm still going to offer you a uh, a copy of your trespass warning. Okay. okay. Would you like a copy or do you refuse that as well? No, I refuse that. Okay. No, I'll take a copy. Yeah, All I'll right. Take a copy. Okay. Because I'd like to find out. Absolutely. It's yeah. got the case number and everything that you yeah. need to know on there. All I right. I can't wait to contact this All guy right. and tell him he's been trespassed. All right. So, sir, it's now time to leave. Okay. Legally ran my tag to find out I'm not your guy. You served the trespass. All right, Mr. Cicerello, we meet again. Um, gonna need to see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. For what reason? All right. Why are you pulling me over? Because I have reasonable suspicion to believe that you're driving without a valid license. In the really? State of Florida, yes, sir. You're gonna state that on camera? I am, yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Seeing how your dispatch just told you that I was valid. So, what do you think you're dealing with? All right, Mr. Cicerello, we meet again. Um, gonna need to see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. For what reason? All right. Why are you pulling me over? Because I have reasonable suspicion to believe that you're driving without a valid license in the really? state of Florida. Yes, sir. You're gonna state that on camera? I am, yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Seeing as how your dispatch just told you that I was valid. Okay. Who do you think you're dealing with? You're fucking stupid. Over each. Let me get 94, please. You're fucking stupid to come up and lie to me like that. Okay. I have it all on camera. All right. Michael Cicerello, I'm going to ask you one more time for your driver's you license. You already know I'm not Michael Cicerello. You already ran my tag. You already okay. came back on my tag. Okay. Your dispatch already told you who I was. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, then let me let me confirm that. No, because you illegally pulled me over. It's not illegal. Me. I can I can pull you, you over. You just lied to me and told me you pulled me over because you believe I'm driving without license. I can license. pull you over for I'm reasonable suspicion. I'm getting all the suspicion. records from your dispatch, all the radio calls that you just got. I'm okay with that. that. I'm okay with that. I'm not getting anything. Okay. Sit tight. Let me check it out. I'm gonna sit tight. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think he might be David Christian, so I'm going to pull it up on David and see, let you see the picture. But if he is David Christian, then we're going to we're going to put the right name on the trespass order. You know what I mean? So either way, so as soon as I find out it's not, I'll cut him loose. But let me find out. So as soon as I find out it's not, I'll cut him loose. But let me find out. And I'll code B it as well. You think it's him? Is that the guy we're dealing with right now, Hans? Cocoa Beach to 42, um, copy, you're on scene. Let me look up Cicerello real quick. 61 Gullage traffic. I'm 1087, P times 4. 26. Yeah, traffic stop. Huh? I didn't know you were on here. 61, we copy your traffic. Pretty much just pulled up. Calling on. Ten four. I was doing that right now. Yep, it's David. Yep, yep. All right, Mr. Christian, you were telling me the truth. Yeah, I'm going. So right this to stop the... is immediately over. I I'm no longer right to the police department. I no longer have Island legal authority. You can go right now. I'm. You're not I'm, detained any longer. Have but a nice you, day but you are the subject of the trespass for two years. Okay. Doesn't matter. You didn't. And I, you didn't notify me. It matters. Okay. All right. I, right to file a journal of I'm notifying you right now that you're the subject of have the trespass. Nice bye bye. 16 Cocoa Beach. Let me get a CR number in time, please. I want to file a complaint. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to. Um, I, I don't have all the officers' names because they refuse to identify themselves. So after I was trying to get, I don't. I don't. I, I identified myself yesterday. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah, but some of the other officers. Didn't. I can. I could provide you their names if you want their names. Yeah. Um, let me bring a I can write it down. Let yeah. Me. Yeah. If you just want to. Yeah. You want me to write it on the back of your paper? Yeah, that's fine. That way, if you yeah. lose the card, at least you'll still have it. Oh, no, I won't lose the card. Is that sufficient, sir? Yeah. There's only four there? I thought there was five. No, there was four. Oh, there was four officers. Yeah, I was the officer that came and talked to you first. Yes, yes. We assumed, um, based off of how it, it happened, we were told that you were possibly another individual, mm -hmm. and that person had a suspended license. So when you got in your car and subsequently pulled over we believed at the time that you were this person driving on a suspended license. And once we found out that you were not that person, then the traffic stop was immediately terminated. You know, in theory, that would have worked had he pulled me over directly when I left the property. But unfortunately, he had already called dispatch. Dispatch already told him who I was. Let me finish. Yeah, absolutely. Dispatch already told absolutely. him who I was. He had already canceled over the radio. He had already canceled and voided the trespass that he just gave me because he realized he trespassed the wrong person. Yes, sir. So therefore, and this is my opinion, is that it was an unlawful stop because it was pretextual. He stopped me 
to try and give me the trespass order verbally or whatever reason. But unfortunately, the sequence of events he did it in, it wasn't, it wasn't proper. Had he pulled me over, he followed me for all the way from there, all the way up the road, ran my tag, and, and the, the events, the way they happened, are not going to fly. It, in my opinion, it was an unlawful stop. It was pretextual, which is questionable. Um, and it, and then he lied to me directly to my face 